Winfred Yu has uh, gone for a small break. His chip's still on the table, though. Dan Smith perhaps rushing off to say hello to him. Antonius, big hand, 4,000 to call from the small blind. 22,000. The call is not enough. He puts the pressure on. Phil Ivey has Huey and Dewey, the two Ace. little ducks. And that is enough for a oh, monster oh, raise. Oh, raise and all in. Phil Ivey says pair. Oh, oh, Antonis oh, is going to love oh, seeing what pair it is. Oh, oh, this oh, is oh, very oh, much oh, a race. Gut shot draw comes for Antonius, and nine is now an out for him. So nine, ace, queen, or king, and there it is. He makes the straight on the river. Heap so far. Blinds at six and twelve thousand. Mitzi will need to move <laughs> sooner rather than later. <laughs> Phil Ivey will be doing something with his kings. How sneaky does he want to be? Not too sneaky. Pumps it up to 30,000. On the button, Tony Bloom, a suited King Jack. He decides it's worth casting a BDI over a flop. As long as Antonius will let him, of course. You were happy I called it. I counted down from 6 a.m. Like oh. He makes the call with the deuces. Oh. Like Dan Smith wants nothing to do with this one, so three of the big names in poker. Going to see a flop. Great players. And it is Antonius who picks up a set of deuces. Ivy has a strong flush draw and the overpair. Tony Bloom, I suggest, will take no further part in this one. With that gold salamander sitting on his cards. That's the source of his nickname, the Lizard. And he scuttles off into the undergrowth, leaving Antonius to make a call or a raise. The draw heavy board. So he, All in. Well, I say he may raise. He goes all in. Ivy's got plenty of chips and immediately makes the call. Antonius is the player in danger. But right now, Ivy is in danger of losing half his chips. A pot of over a million. Need to hit a king or a spade. Can't do it, so Antonius is the player who doubles through. You wouldn't guess it by looking at him, but Phil Ivey. <laughs> Gus, the happiest man ever to lose a lot of chips. It is going to be gutting. Even though these players have made, lost and then made again millions in their careers. Bubbling here would hurt. 800,000 for third place, nothing for fourth place. Plus you've got to fancy there are some bragging rights here. They've known each other for years. They've played together for years. It's almost like a home game. Patrick Antonius has made the flush. Phil Ivey has second pair. This is one home game I wouldn't want to walk into. But 
Ivy is walking into trouble here. He's called with the Queen. will Antonius invest? 80,000. 80, that does have the look of a value bet. But these guys are playing meta poker. All the normal signals and indications go haywire at this level. They're operating at the absolute peak of poker. Antonius does get his reward, shows the golf bag full of clubs, and drags in an extra 80,000. These guys are earning their corn. 10 hours of pressure, knowing that you've invested a quarter of a million dollars. Ace four against King Jack. We could see a raise here from Ivy. Instead, he satisfies himself with a call. Something for everybody there. Jack's for Antonius. Aces for Ivy. He checks back at the Scandinavian. Who obligingly shoves in 125,000. which IV matches. The deuce looks pretty blank to both players. Check. Ivy gives Antonius another chance to invest, but he declines the responsibility. And Ivy's hand improves on the river, two pairs. This time, he may bet. 300. And it is 300,000. Antonius doubts him. He ain't going to be happy because Ivy does have a made hand here. Ace fours. 100,000 in the middle with blinds and antis before we even start. And Antonius enriches the booty in the middle. He will find a customer, I fancy, Phil Ivy, with a suited King Jack in spades. Ivy noticeably has the bigger chip stack now. And that's a pretty perfect flop for King Jack. Smallish, tempting bet into the middle. Antonius raises. He'll be trying to find out exactly where he is. Has given himself an escape route if Ivy does come over the top. And it is a smallish re raise. Antonius, remember, has hit absolutely nothing. And he's just playing on his instincts about Phil Ivy, a man he knows 
just about as well as anyone. So they've both invested a healthy chunk into this pot. Antonius whiffs again, he's now drawing dead. This time Ivy shows what to a normal human being would be seen as weakness, but at this level of poker is pregnant with meaning. How will Antonius interpret it? Another small sneaky looking bet, but this pot over a million now. Bill Ivy shoves all in. Antonius you've got to say he can't call, but And that's how it pans out, so Phil Ivy and may go some way to determining which of these players earns that two million dollar first prize here at the Aussie Millions. Patrick's found a king, he's all in. Phil Ivy will not hesitate obviously to call and the cards turn over. Antonius is in trouble. He'll need to spike a king and dodge an ace. Well, as it is, he's picked up a three so he does go in front. Oh, but there's the queen now for Phil Ivy. So Antonius drawing thin. Three or a king. And it is neither, so we have a winner. Two million dollars richer, as if he needed it. It is Phil Ivy. What an incredible victory for Phil Ivey. After taking a break from poker, it's great to see him back.